What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Obviously, as you guys seen by the title in this video, it could have been a lot worse and I'm gonna show you why. But before we get to that, I wanna show you guys a couple things that I went ahead and got. And of course, as you guys can see, I am in the shade and it is for good reason. It is another hot day. So for those of you that have been keeping up with the videos, you guys are up to date. And for those of you that are not, let me just go ahead and show you one of the easiest mods that I'm assuming a lot of you are gonna be like really overkill, but it bothered me and I wanted it fixed. It's actually this cover right here. So for those of you that are not aware, you just go ahead and squeeze this and it pops off. And the reason why I'm replacing it, it well, there's a couple of reasons for it. So for starters, as you can see, this one is cracked and it is really, really ugly and it is just messed up. And it's also missing a clip right there. And this one is the new one. Well, not so new, but it is another used one that I got from the junkyard today when I was there. And this one is a lot better. Obviously it still has those little like hairline fracture cracks, but depending on how you look at it and what angle you look at it, it's kind of there, but then it's not, but then it is. So it's kind of sucks. But the main reason why I got it is because all of these clips are there and well, it's not gonna vibrate and move around. So of course we wanted to go ahead and make sure that we had it all in order. But with that being said, check this out. It's as easy as one, two, three. What do you guys think? I think it looks really good. The next, I would say the next unnecessary thing is probably these right here. So these go where your belt buckle is and they go right there. And it's just essentially a cover. So it looks nicer, I guess. I'll be honest with you guys. Normally stuff like this doesn't bother me, but given the fact that I'm trying to give it that little OEM plus look, I think this is gonna make it pop off. Now the install is super, super easy. You see those little two clips, one and two? All you do is you set it in place and it locks right in. What do you guys think? Is this overkill? Would you have done this? Or am I just super OEM plus E, OCD or whatever you guys think? But I think it looks really good. Especially when you compare it to that one right there. You see how ugly that looks? I don't know, I just think it looks really, really ugly. Compared to that, just look at that. It looks so much better. And uh, yeah, it just gives it that little final, you know, chef's kiss, you know? Mwah. Now the next thing obviously on the list is the thing that's been bothering me the most and I'm sure it's been bothering some of you as well. It's gonna be installing the airbag. Obviously this is needed in here because this just looks so freaking tacky and just looks like I stole the car obviously but I didn't. So we're gonna go ahead and install that but the only reason why I did not install that is because of this. That's right, I wasn't installing the airbag because of these clips and because of those two little bolts. And the main reason why is because these these clips go on the outside, which if you see that hole right there, they sit right here, boom. And obviously the other main reason is because these are very important. These, these guys right here. These are the most important piece. And this is what holds the airbag into this little hole right here and it tightens it and it makes it all functional. So because of that, that was why I did not install this. I had them originally. I don't know where I placed them. So I went to the junkyard when I went to go get all these other little pieces and I got that as well. So we can finally look like we have a nice steering wheel once again. But I'm about to save you guys the whole time lapse. We're gonna install this in three, two, one. And just like that, she is installed. What do you guys think? Obviously, I know this steering wheel isn't the most appealing steering wheel, especially because it's not one of the anniversary steering wheels that came on one of the Cobras where it has like the little grips right here and it would just look so much more sportier. But overall, nothing beats an OEM feel. But what do you guys think? Should I have stayed with my old steering wheel, the one with the quick release? Or are you guys a fan of what I like to call the OEM Plus Club, which is OEM styling interior with little upgrades here and there? to make it pop just that much. I'm also considering getting a different steering wheel, one of those nice looking ones that have maybe potentially a little bit of carbon, a flat bottom, and just give it that more sporty feel, or I can just swap out the steering wheel itself for one of the anniversary ones that I'll just pop a picture right here. You see that? Tell me that doesn't look awesome. Or I could just leave this alone, but whatever the case, it's installed and it looks amazing. All right, so now that all the little things are done and out of the way, I think it's time that we finally get into the reason why you clicked on this video. And there's no other way to explain it other than showing you these clips.
So as you guys seen in the clips, the caliper itself uh, started hitting the wheel and I found out why. The main reason why is, well, one of the caliper bolts came off completely, completely fell, completely disappeared. And then the other one was holding on for dear life. And I managed to pull over and have my uncle come and bring me the jack and the tools that I needed so I can go ahead and tighten up at least the lower one to get me home safely because I am not risking taking this car again with AAA because my car is extremely low. Well, not like completely down to the ground, but for AAA standards, it's low. And I did not want to mess up and paint the bumper again, especially not right away after I just got it painted. And clearly, yes, I know I have a rock chip and so on, but didn't want to go through that process right now. So as you can see, it's it was hitting right here. And this one, I don't know if I can... Oh, I can't make it move right now, but we're going to get to the bottom of it. I ended up getting some bolts and I'll show you those right now. Let's go ahead and lift this car up and get right to it. All right, guys. Sorry, I had to roll up the sleeves a little bit because I'm trying to get rid of this little farmer tan. But check this out. As you guys can see, the one on the bottom is there and the one on the top is completely missing. Horrible, obviously. We don't ever need that to go down because of stuff like this. Now, as you can see, obviously, it was scraping really bad. In the video that you've seen, obviously you've seen it just low riding itself up and down and it looked horrible. We are fortunate that nothing really bad happened and we caught it just in time, but I think it is time to finally put on those bolts. So for those of you that want to go ahead and replace the original ones, if you just want to make things shiny and all that good stuff, this is going to be the part number. It's going to be a doorman part number and it, it, it is 13898. So it comes with a pair so that way you can go ahead and install it on each side. So we're going to go ahead and install the top one right now and then we're going to do a comparison on the size. I'm assuming it's perfect because doorman is normally pretty good at the sizings and trying to stay as close as possible to original equipment. And luckily for me, it already has thread lock which I believe I forgot to put on these. So guys, make sure you guys are putting on your thread locks. Make sure you have a lock washer if you need it and stuff like that because when it comes to your brakes and when it comes to safety, obviously it's very important because this could have been really bad. As you guys can see, here is the comparison test on their lengths. This one is obviously the aftermarket one that I put on and it is slightly longer and we can check that by this doing this as well, as you guys can see. But another thing you can notice is I did not put any thread lock on this whatsoever. So that's a rookie mistake on my end, but I already installed the other one and it fit perfect and the caliper isn't moving. So that lets me know it's a good thing. Now we're gonna go ahead and install this bottom one really fast and get to testing. All right, so now that I went ahead and finalized that, check that out. The bolts are installed. You have the top one right here, and obviously you have the bottom one right there. Uh, I went ahead and made sure that this time around, obviously it already has thread lock on it, but I went ahead and used my old faithful hammer just to make sure that it does not come loose again. But with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and put this wheel back on and take it for a test spin. And I'm gonna do that on my own time because the sun is beating my ass. And with that being said, guys, Thank you guys for tuning in. Truly do appreciate you guys. And I got a nice, nice little glow looking like if I just got a professional facial done and stuff like that. But that being said, if you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell because it'll let you guys know every time we upload. But with that being said, see you guys.